What's up everybody, it's your boy Gemini Healthy, here again with another vegan meal for you. Since it's the holidays and I have to cook anyway, I thought I'd show you my version of making collard greens without the sm smoked neck bones or the collard greens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course I have my collard greens and I have a little splash of kale, yeah kale, and it does not taste nasty the way I do it and when you mix it in with your collard greens. So the first thing I'm gonna do that people tend not to do is I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna use my trusty glacier water in order to clean it. I never wash my vegetables with the water out of the sink because that water is nasty and it's like putting more chemicals on top of your vegetables. As I get ready to clean my kale, I wanted you to see that I actually take the stock part off of the kale, take that part off. So I'm just gonna be cleaning this part here. So I can just give you the complete information on how I do it. And I'm gonna do the same thing when I get ready to do the collards as well. All right, so I've cut up my kale and my collards. You're going to see it here. And I'm just going through cleaning it. And I'm probably gonna do two rounds of that, which will probably take the whole gallon of water that I use from uh, Glacier in order to clean them, because I don't like uh, my greens to taste like dirt. All right, I just did the first uh, cleaning. And I want you to see how nasty that freaking water is. Just again, an example of how you wanna make sure that you clean your vegetables, even though they have that water on it at the grocery store and you think that it's actually cleaning it off, it's not. All right, I've just cleaned my greens and I'm letting the rest of the, um, the water just kind of go through um, and come out um, of my strainer here. So that's straining. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the, um, the seasoning in my pot that I'm gonna put my greens into. So no, I do not um, put water in my um, in my greens. So what I do is I use good old vegetable broth, vegetable broth. And I use, just so you know in terms of quantity, um, the kale that I use, I only used one bushel of that. And the collards, I used three bushels of that. So I'm going to put in four of the containers of vegetable broth in order to um, cook my collard slash kale in um, this solution. So I'm going to use four, four vegetable broth. So I've added three of the vegetable broths into my pot so far. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my seasonings into the um, vegetable broth. So the first thing I'm going to use is some liquid aminos into that. And you know black people, we don't really measure, we just put it to how it tastes. So I'm just going to do we're gonna say that's probably four tablespoons of that. Next thing that's gonna give it kind of like that smokiness that you normally get, like when you add neck bones in it or you add um, turkey necks, is this stuff here called liquid smoke. So I'm gonna add that into it. I'm gonna add some garlic, minced garlic. some everything seasoning from the Flavor King. And the fun thing that I didn't know until I started looking into it is I'm gonna also use bacon bits. But guess what? The imitation bacon bits don't have bacon in it. So it just adds that extra flavor into it. Yeah, imitation bacon bits and your liquid smoke is what's gonna help give it that kind of like that smokiness that you get from when you normally put meat into your greens. The other thing that I like to add into my greens is I'm gonna dice up some yellow and red onions to put into my greens as well. All right, so I've seasoned my um, vegetable broth and I've now added in my collards and kales into there. And I'm just gonna take and put a little bit more of the garlic on the top layer of my greens. A little bit more of the everything seasoning on top. Because of course we all know that the greens are going to also make some extra um, moisture for it. And a few more of the bacon bits. Yes, And the next thing you're going to see is I'm going to just show you um, how it looks when it's cooking down and then the finished product. Just to add a little bit more flavor to it, I've decided to also dice up some green peppers, red peppers, and orange peppers to add into it. No, it's not your grandmother's collard greens. And I just want to go, I am going to 
So the next finished product you will see will be my actual whole meal together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Share it with a friend, try it, and let me know what you think.